Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back. So recently we did a video about rattle canning a rifle, getting into that whole deal with painting and, you know, uh, foliage and all that stuff. So right here, got a like 7.5 truck gun and just some rattle can green. The video that we did with that particular rifle was this 16 inch kind of recce build. Well, today we're doing something a little different. I'm going to introduce this fucking guy right here. Got a PSA AK-104. And we're gonna put some color on it and we're gonna make it blend with this fucking coat. Tiger straight. And it's gonna fuck hard. So why don't you stick with us, grab a cold beer, and let's rock. <laughs> Mm. Paint fiends is part of the best pro, part, part of the best uh, part of here. Mm. Nice and nice light. Don't need to get crazy. You do want it to have a nice little coat though. Just a nice little, just gonna spray a light, nice little coat here. Just a nice little coat. Just a happy, happy little coat. Just a, a, a nice little, happy little coat. Just a happy little coat. So uh, this particular paint color that he's using is Rust-Oleum Camo Army Green, or as like us in Washington like to call it, Fern. Like green. Uh, I took the precautions to uh, cover the optic, obviously. We covered the optic and the trigger. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the paint on the trigger. I feel it messes with my cheating. I don't know. I might be wrong. Not that I'd ever admit it. Never. Never. It's scientifically proven that painted triggers make you pull to the left. Or so. Or so. Or so I just made that up. Okay. And again, you know, guys, this doesn't have to be a uh, the science of rockets. Uh, is this like is this like Geico where it's so easy a caveman could do it? If your name is Unga Bunga, this one's for you. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. What do you say there, Gary? 20, 20 minutes to. Uh, Fully dry, fully cure. I say we let that dry for about 20 minutes and we make our way back over to the workbench and consume a more, little bit more sustenance. More, more red beers. More red beers. So I, I was just, you know, waiting for the first coat to dry over there, that uh, the army green. And uh, sitting there, tossing back some red beer. And I had this thought, uh, you know, you know, we got this like, you know, PSA AK-104, right? Graphite edition, clean as fuck, hard to come by right now. Uh, like 1100 bucks on its own. You toss on a primary arms optic. You toss on a new muzzle device. We're like $1,300 in. And I, what, I, what I wanted to ask was, how does it feel to be the proud owner of a $1,300 beautiful, rare, hard to get PSA AK right now? And then you toss like $4 worth of fucking paint on it. Yeah, so uh, you ever been with a gal for a while? You think, ah, I love everything about you. If only you had brand new tits. That's kind of how it feels. Also, uh, I have to paint these mags. So we're gonna do that now. Let's go. Let's go paint some mags. You're really good at that. Do you, do you like practice with a shake weight at home? Uh, yeah. Uh, 
prior to us doing this video, we went online and we watched hundreds and hundreds of Bob Ross videos. And Honestly, we we just kind of thought that just happy happy little sprays. Just it, it only, if you hold this down for more than two seconds, you're wrong. Do One. you do you purposely yeah. tape over logos? Um, if you specifically yeah, tape I don't want, over, I don't want to know, that um, you know, like a PCM logo <laughs> or like an FN logo, just peel it off so that everyone can see the sure. logo. Um, you're literally so with causing the flick cancer. of the wrist and then the spray of the thumb. What do you call this technique? Uh, I don't give a fuck. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, so here we are. We're down on the garage floor now because uh, we grabbed the heat gun to get a little bit of uh, advanced paint, paint drying techniques to happen to kind of expedite the uh, whole process. So we're about 40 minutes in. The other side's uh, tacky-ish, but this is a tactical gun, so we're uh, just don't give a shit. The important thing here to note is... Uh on the first coat, you're gonna miss your top and your bottom, okay? So be a powder bottom. And come up from behind it, like so. Once again, nice long strokes. Long stroke, long strokes. Another uh, important rule to remember when uh, you're doing this type of thing is uh, there are no rules. So uh, just do it. It also helps, like this is actually scientifically proven. It actually helps if you're like four or five beers in. It gives you more of a natural palette and natural color tone when you uh, start laying down paint. Meanwhile, in the paint booth. Oh, hi there. Bob Ross here. I'm just going to give ourselves a couple of long strokes. Nay, short strokes. This is when it gets real fun. Just a happy little short stroke. Just a couple of happy little short strokes. These uh, seed holders are starting to look a little like your jacket. A little bit. I don't like that though. I don't like that at all. So, this is my first time with the stencil, so there's gonna be some learning curves. Hmm? So, kinda like that curves. Kinda like that curves. So, if you don't like it, fucking fix it it's not relationship advice by the way what about curves and long strokes are those relationship advices gentlemen if it doesn't curve the way you want it straighten it out <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, did you get paint inside where the bolt goes? Oh. <clears throat> if you're worried about the uh, paint going inside your bulk area group, number one, fuck you. You should know to go. 
Also, PSA, public service announcement. Stop being a bitch. Oh, hi there. Is that a new tech? You just happy to see me. <laughs> so anyways, our uh, base case, base, I can talk. Base coat, jungle, green. Nice and dry. Now what are we going over it with? Do a little earth brown here. Earth brown. Okay. Once again, deliberate sprays. You don't have to get too crazy here. You don't have to get too crazy, all right? The uh, cardboard is for uh, overspray. We learned that uh, doing the mags a little while ago, we may have gotten a little too uh, excited. Got a little crazy. So we're, uh, we just tossed in a little cardboard there to cover up some overspray of what we've already sprayed. I need some more cardboard. Cardboard, cut. Okay, we're back with more cardboard. Stencil in the new location. Okay. And you can move this around if you don't like something. Now is the time to move it. Now is the time to do that. All right? So you can see there, All right? If you don't like it, change it. Pick it up and move it. All right, this is your gun. You can do whatever you want with it. But once you spray it, well, you can just respray it. All right, when you're moving the stencil, try and keep where you're spraying in line, at least on your first pass. On the second pass, you can do whatever you want. You can go crazy. But for me, I want it all to make sense. What did you ask me earlier? Why am I spraying it horizontally? I'm glad you asked. The reason I'm doing it like this, the way I figure it, and if I'm wrong, you can go ahead and tell me in the comments section. I'm holding this rifle at the ready here, right? Where, where are you gonna be holding? Where are you gonna be looking at, right? Where are you gonna be looking at this gun? Where are you holding? Where's, where's the gun gonna be the most time? It's gonna be at your ready, like this. The designation of the camo is going straight vertical. When you're going up, it doesn't matter, motherfucker. They already see you, it's over. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. That's where my thoughts at. That's where my head's at, you know? Again, if I'm wrong, you fucking tell me. I might care. This is starting to look pretty fucking based. Yeah, that's coming out, uh, it's coming out exactly like I had planned. I'm glad that we learned on the mags. Yeah. I'm glad that we Mag learned. Trial, trial run with the mags. I'm glad that we learned on the mags. That was a uh, smart move on that. Uh... I'm pretty sure I've seen this exact AK run through the jungles of Africa. <laughs> Lot and floppies. Now, now, is what you're doing right here, is this any sort of like a Rhodesian type technique, or is this just like a... Uh... You know, the Rhodesians did kind of popularize spray paint their rifles, but uh, historically speaking, mankind, namely Americans, because the world started in 1776, has been spray painting their rifles and coloring the rifles to avoid the British and tyrannical governments for yep. some time now. Yeah, I actually heard that part of the standard kit of Minutemen in the 1770s was a, uh, a musket, ball powder, and a can of rust -Oleum. And a stencil. And a stencil. With tiger stripes. With tiger stripes. Oh, that is looking so good. If you don't believe us, ask any band boy from the 1700s that played. 
Not gonna lie, that's that that's coming out that's pretty coming dope. Out. What what is your uh, what's your thought right now on the initial uh, spray? So I'm not gonna go so heavy next time, and some of this overspray could have been avoided. But uh, once again, it's coming out. Okay, back to the uh, other side. Back to the future, what am I saying? I feel like in Back to the Future, everybody really wants the DeLorean, but I really wanted Marty's Toyota. I really wanted Marty's Toyota too. That was clearly the best, uh, best part. I feel like that was, uh, I think we should go Back to the Future to go get that 1985 to rescue, Toyota. To rescue Marty McFly's Toyota. Rescue Mar Marty McFly's Toyota. I mean, like, I think that's a valid reason to go back to the future. Honestly. So here's the, here's the first problem I'm running into with these stencils. If you can tell, it it's not really... Laying flat? It's not really laying flat like I want, okay? So you're going to have to stop being a bitch. And just kind of like push them down. And push them down. Oh no, it's gonna get your gloves dirty. Yeah, you're gonna have to get your fucking hands dirty on this. You're painting your gun. But like, why would we want our gloves dirty and why would we want like to paint our guns? Why wouldn't you want your fingerprints isn't, on your isn't, firearm? Isn't this gonna <laughs> stay like in a safe? <laughs> yes. Isn't this like a safe queen? Yes. So again, guys, like we say that there's like not really a lot of rules when you're doing this, right? You know, just kind of like lay some shit down and spray it. But honestly, we can't really stress enough about the cardboard for the overspray. Like that's the one thing that you should like at least take into account because it'll make a world of difference when you actually get your final product done. So like if you're going to... That, that is what I've learned thus far on, on stencil job. If you're going to stencil it then you have to stop your overspray because you're just gonna not, you're not gonna have a good time. You're just not gonna have a good time. You're just not gonna have a good time. What, what you think is starting off to be like a day of drinking beer with your buddy and spraying guns turns into a day of drinking beer, spraying guns with your buddy. And, and then having to redo it all, but now you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag dad advice. <laughs> What was once a good time has now turned into not a good time. And, and uh, you know, you're not going to have a good time. Oh, see, I mean, that comes out. That comes out way better. So for my charging handle, you know, and by the way, this is a uh, Carolina Shooter Supply charging handle. 20 bucks. Um, don't know. bucks. Don't know. <laughs> 20 bucks at bucks. My gloves are getting sticky. Oh, being a pain in the ass. There we go. So I, yeah, you know, if I'm doing this, uh, if I'm doing this wrong, or if I'm doing this different than you would, well, oh well. You know, this is my first one. Maybe on my second one, I'll have learned some stuff, you know? And if you guys think you have an opinion or a comment or like thinking that you can do it better and you want to chime in, feel, please feel free to do so, but then fuck off. All right. This is, uh, this is the abridged version. I'm just amazed on how easy the stencil is though. I mean, you just literally just move it over. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And uh, that's that's the pattern you get, right? That, that's the pattern you get. Oh God, you know. You know, like there are many rifles, but this one is mine. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, you can have another another gun that looks cool, and you're gonna oh whatever, you know, good for you. This is my rifle. There are many. There are many. This, is like, this one is mine. There are many guns. And, uh, you know, one might say, oh, no, you missed a uh, tan. Well, I don't live in a tan environment, you know? Yeah, this isn't New Mexico or California. This is, uh, this is the Pacific Northwest. This is the Pacific Northwest. Okay. 
Greens and browns are our hue. That's it. That is it. Nice aerial there. Kind of what you're seeing. Right? It's dirty. It's not laying right. It's not laying good. So. Would you call this a dirty Kami rifle? I would not. This is made by Americans. For Americans. PSA. What? Go to PSA. Go to PSA right now and look at their mission statement. Yes. Do you think PSA could sell this rifle and make any profit realistically if they weren't making hundreds of them and selling them by the thousands a month? If not, probably by the day these days. No. No. This is where it gets kind of tricky. I'm going to... Not overspray my own rifle. This is a rifle, by the way. Fuck the ATF. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking good. Taking a little bit more time, I think, with this one. With this side, you mean? Yeah. light on the grip maybe right there the grip but you know what with your hands gripping it whatever all right so uh we're gonna let this dry and uh we're gonna start blowing but with the gun guys come on you know i was kind of worried about those mags earlier uh you know they're looking they're looking damn good like that the overspray in it and those lines it actually breaks it up really nice and that's the kind of thing i like about the uh the tiger stripe is it just every layer that you get hides whatever whatever fuck ups that you did. And these again were the learning curve. <sighs> and uh yeah, that's coming up pretty nice. So originally I was going to do a mesh with the uh with the khaki here. We don't have any mesh, it turns out. So not bad. We're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and, and do some real light sprays of some black, kind of break it up, okay? And again, and if this doesn't look good, just are, just re, just respray it. Are we talking about the mags not looking good, or are we talking about you shaking cans of paint? If this doesn't look good, then then you can fix it. Again, there's really no rhyme. There's no, there's no wrong answer here. I thought maybe I would just kind of break, break some of that up. Maybe on this side. Maybe on this side, I'm gonna get a little closer. You know, something like that. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we, uh, maybe we let those dry. And then uh, we see how it turns out, or we're just gonna say screw it. We're gonna do all of them. Let's leave, let's leave this one alone. Leave that one alone. Let's leave this one alone. Kind of like how the black just kind of breaks it up, though. Yeah, it I does. don't know. It, yeah, it does. Like I said, you know, once again, it's just a learning curve. Um, I can go back. I want. I wanted to do the mesh and then do the black because I thought that would break the whole thing up, but it's your gun. You can do whatever you want with it. If you don't like it. You can start all over again with your light green. Go back with your stencil. I'm probably going to end up doing that, but, uh, you know, realistically, make some mistakes in your first gun. So the second one you do, it's going to come out way, way better. But, uh, uh, you know, like uh, Gary said earlier, don't be a bitch. Go out and get some spray paint. You don't have to get stencils, but don't be a bitch. Go spray a gun. Recording now, Gary. Are you recording? Uh, now I am. Are you recording now? Are we doing? What are we are doing you now? Recording now. Uh, okay, cut. <laughs>
<laughs> so, uh, large, small. These tiger stripe designations. The first pass with the brown was in the large configuration, or primarily, I tried, right? This time, using the designated deep forest green, or OD green for all the uh, real ones. We'll be doing these small, small, that's S-M-O-L. S-M-O-L. O-L. Small. Once again, kind of wing it here, you know? Looking, looking pretty good. Looking pretty goddamn good. That's G U D. G U D, everybody. G U D. <laughs> so. These videos kind of get a little long and these projects get along because you do start moving stuff. You know, you're moving cardboard every time you spray. Yeah. You're moving stencils every time you spray. You're shaking cans. So, like, you know, don't expect it to just be like, it takes you 20 minutes and you're done. No, this is... I mean, you could do that, but we've been at this for five hours. I mean, there's been beer being consumed, but we've been at this for about five hours today. Because, you know, it's Washington. We're real smart, so we're doing this in the 40s, you know, so uh, we're... Uh, but if my uh, said rifle can't handle a little paint in 40 degree weather, I'm not sure I want to be Also, that. it will be noted that a heat gun. The ticket. Yeah, the, that's, just, it's, that's, that's the win right here. And you can already see the brown against that, uh, that OD. Dude, that's killing. It's killing. I'm, I'm loving that shit. Like it is really, really coming out nicely. Someone I think said, and yet, rifle is fine. Well, but rifle was not fine. Rifle we, is not fine. We wanted we wanted said rifle to be our fine. Pay attention where you're where you're where you're shooting too. Uh, I'm going for the smaller, right? So I almost just fucked up. Okay, I almost just sprayed that whole thing. That would have been dumb, huh? So pay attention, right? I know you like to drink beer, and I know you're gonna do dumb stuff. But maybe, uh, you know, maybe, maybe be smart about it. That's a problem, right? That's a problem. So how are you going to fix that? Huh? I got it. I got it, Gary. Gary, I got it. No. 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 Yeah. Okay. Sometimes a homie hookup. Improvise, adapt, overcome. <laughs> <laughs> Overcome, indeed. Okay. Oh, with those strips of OD, that's looking, that's, that's looking, looking good. Mighty fine. That's looking, looking good. It's looking mighty fine. This is not rocket science. Uh, you know, I didn't like that, so uh, I fixed it. I didn't like that either, so I fixed that. I'm trying to break up as much of this original color pattern color pattern as I can. See, that looks, God, that looks awesome. <laughs> now it's looking good. And these lines will start to be more prominent once the paint dries. Oh, yeah. So you got, you know, there's like a tiny bit of like spray right here that you can see on the, each line. That will kind of fade and disappear as the paint dries. Sure as the sun will rise. You are correct, sir. Again, reposition, spray, move, reposition, spray. I'm gonna get your. Uh, yeah, I got you. I got you, bruh. Mm -hmm. Breaking it up. All right, so the uh, the conclusion that we're, again, we've been trying to make for a, for a while now is there's no fucking rules. 
just paint your shit. As uh, we've seen right here, this is what ha I mean. I don't know if you guys yeah, can basically. see anything or not, but it, you know, all I see is a dude with a jacket. But oh, the final product, by the way. Hardcore, fucking awesome. All right. Is it the best? No. It's not the fucking best. It's just a guy on the fucking YouTube, you know? I don't know shit about fuck. Is that a, uh, what's that off of? What show is that off of? It's off of a shit about fuck? Yeah, I don't know shit about fuck. Uh, shameless. Yeah, shameless? It's definitely a the shameless. Ozark. Ozark. Oh, it's I, an Ozark. I don't know shit it's about It's an Ozark fuck. reference. Yeah, yeah. The other, uh, the other, uh, shameless. No. So, uh, as all things, uh, you know, there are no rules. But there are some basic fucking rules to spray painting your own gun. Rule number one. Have a friend, you know? Maybe, you know, don't do, don't think, don't do things yourself if you're not comfortable. Uh, rule number two. Don't be a bitch. We've already covered this, but uh, rule number three, and this is the most important, really, out of all of this, have some fucking cardboard. I uh, feel like that made that made life way better, uh, as we we made some mistakes along the way, and uh, maybe. But just remember, the mistakes that we made along the way actually became the friends. We made along the, way. <laughs> the friends that we that we made were actually the mistakes that we uh, yeah we so. just formed and made along the so, way. So, gentlemen, as cool as painting a rifle is, if you don't go out and train with it, you're gonna get killed. You're gonna get killed with someone with a two hundred dollar PSA gun. You know why? Because they're going to slot your ass quicker than you can say, fuck the 18.